In the mountainous regions of Ambaralagi came the end of the war in Abyssinia. On the precipitous heights where fierce battles were fought, the last remnants of the Italian army under the Duke of Aosta capitulated. These historic Pathé pictures record the momentous scene as thousands of Il Duce's dupes walk out on the axis. Here on the screen before you is the dramatic moment of the final surrender. Ambaralagi was the last fortress of the Duke of Aosta, one time Viceroy of Ethiopia and Commander-in-Chief of the Italian East African forces. The pick of his troops, including many companies of black shirts, were driven to this, their final Abyssinian stronghold, by the South Africans. One of the vantage points on Mount Alagi is Fort Toselli. In the very front of the attack on its defences were Indian troops, fearless fighters who stormed the heights in the face of merciless gunfire. And still the long, long trail of prisoners streams on. When all the Italian troops have been collected, the chief of staff of the garrison reads the Viceroy's message of surrender. Then, for the first time in this conflict, defeated enemy units are accorded honors of war. Victors honor the vanquished. A British general takes the salute. Enemy officers are allowed to keep their revolvers, and when the garrison marches out, the victorious troops present arms. The Duke of Aosta proved himself the most courageous commander we have met in the whole African campaign, and these men offered the stoutest resistance. The Duke himself insisted on being the last to leave, and his capture is a serious setback for the Italians. With the Viceroy a prisoner of war, the job of cleaning up Abyssinia is just about complete. It's a great triumph for all the imperial forces who took part in the campaign for the liberation of a stolen empire.